Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain quiet for the minute of silence. Good morning, Chantilly. I'm Lauren Seisky. And I'm Taylor Coe. Today is Thursday, January 16th, 2020. And here are your morning announcements. Today is a B-Day. Tomorrow is an A-Day with LS4 and CT. JV Wrestling competes tonight at West Potomac. Recently, board member at large Ryan McElveen came to Chantilly for our first podcast. Let's see how that went. So I think my desire to um, give back to FCPS began as a student. And um, I was back in my high school days at uh, Marshall High School. I was a class president and I was very active in, in advocacy on mm -hmm. you know, issues that are, were concerning to students. Uh, being a public servant today is very demanding in that respect. We have meetings just and meetings and public events just about every day of the week. And so it's really a balancing act for me to, to have my home life, my um, my friends, my day job, as well as uh, being a school board member. I work uh, downtown in Washington, D.C. during the day at the Brookings Institution, which is mm -hmm. uh, a think tank. Uh, it's, uh, for the past nine years, been ranked the best think tank in the world. So there's just a plug there if you're <laughs> ever interested in going into um, that field. As of today, we have the most Energy Star certified buildings of any school system in the nation. Uh, we're looking at putting solar panels um, on all of our buildings, but I would tell you that uh, since we're here at Chantilly, Chantilly is one of three schools that are going to be piloting solar panels oh. in the next um, uh, couple years. Uh, we're also looking at um, our uh, our bus fleet. We have the largest bus fleet in the nation, bigger than Greyhound, uh, wow. and we want to see how we can convert those vehicles uh, into uh, electric vehicles. Uh, and there are certain programs at the state level that might allow us to do that. One, one of the projects that I've been working on right now is to create a policy that allows for students to um, engage in civic engagement activities uh, during the school day. So we are going to be um, implementing a new policy on, on civic engagement that will allow students to have uh, one excused absence uh, each year. We do have uh, more than about 35 percent of our population that relies on, on schools for perhaps their only meal of the day. So mm -hmm. uh, that's an important factor to consider when, when canceling school. But also we, um, we have a massive staff that's involved in this decision uh, in our facilities and transportation department and we also work with um, the local council of governments, the National Weather Service, um, and all those pieces play into our, our decision making. And hopefully um, that allows us to uh, give the message in a timely manner um, by 4.30 in the morning. If you're interested in viewing the entire podcast, go on the Nightly News YouTube channel. This is Vinyatra Karki reporting for the Nightly News. Now back to you. Thanks, Yatra. Well, it's all we have for you today, Chantilly. This has been Lauren Seisky and Taylor Coe reminding you to stay positive and have a great day. And we'll see you tomorrow.